what a great God you are. You are our Jesus. God wrapped in flesh. Now you sit on the throne and dwell in our hearts. You are omnipotent, which means you have all power. You are omniscient, which means you know all things. And you are omnipresent, which means you are everywhere. You feel the heaven and the earth. There is nothing that happens that you don't know. You are never taken by surprise. You know all things every second of every day before the foundation of the world. And oh God, as we come to you this morning, we are in awe of your presence, of your glory, of your majesty. We are in awe of your greatness, the fact that you know all things. Present everywhere. I'm good to you and I have power. We are all, we are humbled to be called children of God. We are happy to have you as our Father. Oh God, we are proud to let the world know that Jesus is God and you are in charge of our lives. As you come here this morning, Jesus, first Sunday of the month, Consecration Sunday, Fasting Sunday, a time when we come before you, oh God, pouring out, oh Lord, asking you to draw us nearer, consecrate us, Edamashanda, open thou the things that we need to see, that we need to fix, we need to straighten up, oh God, as the songs that there are, heights of joy, the depths of love, oh God, whatever is preventing us, and the peace which passes all understanding, we are coming to you today to fix us that we will walk in that, in those things. Oh God, we pray that as you come here, we are honest with you, we open ourselves to you, we, 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 we know you know all things, we will be open and transparent, and as a song says, search me, O oh God, and know my hearts and pray. O oh God, see if there be any wicked ways. O oh God, I know I have some. Jesus, bring them up strongly in front of me that I can fix them so I can be a better Christian, a better, a better husband, a better father, a better, O oh God, citizen, not Jesus. I, I pray that when I leave here today, that which you shall be speaking in our lives, that we, should, we shall be hearing from you, will be so powerful that transformation will take place. Oh God, that will be better. We pray God that you draw us nearer. Bless our country, bless our world. Oh God, so many things are happening. We pray that our, we, our relationship with you, with you will not be impacted by any negative forces, but we will spend time with you. As we were told in that very powerful, oh God, the meeting on Friday night, that when we have spent time with God, we will know the timing of God. We will get the mind of God. When we spend time with God, we will know about you, that we will get revelation. You will direct us, oh God Almighty. You will send messengers. Oh, oh hallelujah, we can, we can dictate that messengers will come, will go in front of us and do biddings for us, fight for us, protect us. Oh God, help us, oh God, to know your voice, to hear your voice. Consecrate us to thy service by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope, oh, and I will be lost in thine. Help us, God. We pray you consecrate us, sanctify us, bless us, pour your, your holy power in us today in a way that we've never experienced it before. That when we leave here for the rest of the week, the fire will be burning. For the rest of the week, anybody that we talk to will hear and feel your presence. Anybody that we come in contact with, Lord God, will see a glow of holiness on us and want some of what we have. I pray that, Lord God. That today will be a special day. And Lord, as I, as I take my, my leave of this prayer, I heard this morning, you said to the preacher that forgiveness is paramount. Peter asked you how many times, Lord? Seven? 
He said, no, Peter, 70 times seven. Per person, per day. Hallelujah. Help us, for God, to live a life of forgiveness so that we will receive forgiveness from you. That we will be clean and free. Oh, God, bless us today. Bless us today. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Please remain standing. Oh, yes. In the number 231 from the hymnal, Lead Me, Savior. Oh, glory to God.
your Bibles, turn to St. Mark chapter 10. From, we'll be reading from verse 46 through to the end. Hallelujah. Scripture reading today, St. Mark gospel chapter 10, reading from verse 46 through to the end. Hallelujah. When he found it, say amen. You follow Mary. And they came to Jericho. And as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, a great what number of people, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, Timaeus, sat by the wayside begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, the son of David, have mercy on me. And then he charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cried out more a great deal. The son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort, rise, he calleth thee. And he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said to him, What wilt thou that I should do to thee? The blind man said to him, Lord, that I may receive my sight. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, that faith hath made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Hallelujah. Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Oh God. Where we lead me, I will follow. That's our anthem.
some things you don't have to change. When you call them, they gave, they walk away from the family. They gave up the job. Because Jesus said, come. Hallelujah. Oh, 
over us. Hallelujah. We serve a big, big, wonderful God. Hey, let's lift our hands and praise Him. Let's lift our hands and praise Him. Woo! Glory to God. Glory to God. What a mighty God. And we want to welcome today all our visitors. We have a whole list here. Amen. We have Brother Alvin Lawrence and family upstairs. Uh, Brother Alvin Lawrence. Where is Brother Alvin Lawrence and family? Upstairs. Oh, God bless. God bless you. Let me come every Sunday. <laughs> Sister Karen. Is it Karen or Karen? Karen Watson upstairs. Karen Watson. Where are you hand? Karen, where are you? Praise the Lord Jesus. Sister Sophia Lawrence. I know that name. Brother Travain Clark upstairs was baptized here recently. You want to see Brother Travain Clark? Clark? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Need to talk to you later on, Brother Clark. Sister Abby, Sister Michelle, Sister Lisa, Sister Lavern, Sister Gutsmore, Brother Bradley, Sister Debbie, Sister Henry, Sister Lopa. All visitors, where are you? Praise the Lord Jesus. And, and they are for the, from the continent of a solid church, Windsor, Windsor in Portland, Windsor Castle in Portland. Mr. Cassan Dawkins. Mr. Dawkins, upstairs again now. Glory to God. What? No, I don't need a light. That ain't our 30 times still. <laughs> Miss Brother Urane Nugent, formerly of Case, for his sales greeting. I'm sorry. Also, we have Sister Michaela Rampasar, she said greetings. That's Sister Betty Lou, she sent greetings, and Brother Nugent sent greetings, and this is from this book. Amen. We are happy to know that they are okay and they send their greetings. Also, we'd like to offer condolences to uh, Sister Daphne Watson. She lost her brother. Praise the Lord Jesus. That's her. She lost her brother. Please pray for her. And that those who are close by call her, whatever you can do to help in this time of prayer, visit, be careful with the visit, but contact God on their behalf. Also, we'd like to offer condolences to Evangelist Raffington and the missionary Pinock and the Christian for the loss of their sister and aunt. I got it right. Amen. Um, very close to them. And uh, we prayed pray for the family. And uh, Christian told me yesterday that the two boys in the home are taking it very strongly, or harshly. And we are going to pray that the Lord is hard, hard, taking it hard. Yes. Amen. But that, that is something nobody wants to experience. So in the midst of that, we're dead. But thank God we can pray for each other. We can support each other. We can visit each other, not, not, not a lot, but especially in this time. Amen. So today is the first Sunday, fasting Sunday, consecration Sunday, where we come and ask the Lord to lead us, to guide us, to protect us. Something on my mind, and I can't believe the Lord lead, is leading us in this direction. When we follow the Lord blindly, Blindly, your eyes covered, and Jesus. Jesus said, "Turn left, and you turn left." Jesus said, "Turn right, and you turn right." Jesus said, "Sit down, and you sit down, and you be trusting a hundred percent." Follow the Lord blindly. That's my challenge to me. I want to follow the Lord blindly. Whatever you say, whatever you do, Hallelujah. Each more, right or wrong moment, you choose. Something like that. I want to follow you. I, I am tired 
a beat like a headless chicken. Mm -hmm. You know where the chicken? They just move all over the place, not knowing where they're going, what they're doing. But when we follow the Lord blindly, He leads us in the right path. Glory to God. Clap your hands and praise you. And in doing, in trying to accomplish in this service today, what the Lord has placed on the heart of the bishop, we're going to be having Sister Anderson to come with praise and worship. And we're just going to be just praising the Lord in that soothing, calm, worshipful way today. Reaching out, touching him. He's going to speak to us through songs today. And we're going to listen to him and apply them to our heart and just worship him. Praise the Lord Jesus. Then we'll be having the sermon. Bishop will be preaching from the scripture that we read. Hallelujah. Then we'll be going to another section, segment of prayer. Uh, I'll tell you about it later on. It could be petition. It could be where the Lord leads us along that line. But somewhere we'll be praying. We'll be going before the Lord and we'll be talking to the Lord. Because wherever you lead, I'll follow. Whatever you say, whatever you want me to do, whatever it is, follow him blindly. Praise the Lord Jesus. Then we'll call it the offering. And I'll let again that it, we'll be bringing the offering to the altar. Praise the Lord Jesus. Friday night, we have a wonderful time with church here. It's Brother Williams and Brother Raman live. We, we talk. He, he, he's a trained theologian in some aspect. He studied Semitism and anti-Semitism in university in America somewhere. So he has a wealth of information and knowledge and experience, good and bad. And Boy, when you hear them, it, 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 it messes up your life in a good way. So please come on out for the next couple of Friday nights when it will be just talking Bible and experiences and you won't regret it. Glory to God. I'm sorry you weren't here. And he said he's not going to he's not going to repeat what he said on Friday nights unless you come back another Friday night. It's too valuable to just give it to everybody. You have to come for it. Glory to God. Let's give a hand and worship Jesus. Come to the Father. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Stand up on your feet, everybody, please. Next time. It's time to worship. It's time to worship. It's time to worship. Hallelujah. Reach out to God.
Hallelujah.
said, I wonder which person that's been to the Lord and said, Lord, forgive me. And he said, tomorrow. Or next week. Next year. Never. It's always instant. Instant. Bless the Lord. Today again, welcome everybody. I know the scripture that you have heard already was you have heard that more times than you can remember. I can recall last week, Minister Williams gave you an experience and as a common man to preachers. And that happened to me just last night. Thought I had everything but until later on in the night, it didn't feel so good, so I had to start again. So today we want to look at this ever familiar story of Nicodemus, written by Mark. Matthew has it too in Matthew 20, and it is mentioned by others. But we are today looking at Mark's account. And uh, Mark, we know one of the apostles of the Lord. And uh, I tell you something there is, if you study the writings of the Gospels, we call them, you would uh, learn to appreciate the writings of Mark. And there's something very, very peculiar about Mark's writing. But that's not the thought today. He said, and they came Jericho. Now Jericho was a very funny place. One of the oldest cities in Palestine. It is said that between 15 and 17 miles, some say 15 or 17 miles, uh, from Jerusalem. Very hilly. Uh, the road, the, the, the link, the 17 mile or 50 mile road is very hilly terrain. In the time of Jesus, it, Jericho was not so much on top. And, uh, but people traverse that lonely road because, as I said again, it's a very hilly terrain on the northeastern side, uh, leading to Jordan, leading to the Dead Sea, and so on. And, uh, uh, but because people traverse it and the economy of the place went down, there were many thieves. And that's why Jesus, in the parable of the Good Samaritan, we call him, he used Jericho because there was somebody traversing. And it was a place that was uh, uh, thieves and lords because people are walking this lonely credit career and they would come out and rob and plunder. And as Jesus said in his parable, but Jesus decided, and it's the only account that we have written where Jesus went to Jericho. You, you may find another one where Jesus went to Jericho. He decided, I'm going down that road. And he went there, all was well, coming back, all was well. Just about to leave, or some said, probably you might say, read it and said, he was entering or he was leaving, but still Jericho. And as I said, several beggars. I'm out because people pass by. And uh, uh, Bartimus, beggar. Somebody said he was the son, son of Timius. Nobody knew who Timius was. Some suggest that his father was also blind. And that's why it was mentioned. Nobody knew who Timius was. That was the son of Timius. And uh, he hung out, that was his, 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 his way, and he was there begging. Did my face turn again, as always. All right. And uh, he heard the noise, and he asked, found out that it was Jesus. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry. Well, I have been the 
sino Baptimus. Baptimus, I know, son of Timus is one. But he was a Jew. And the Jews at that time did not believe in Jesus that he is the Messiah. So they were blinded. The Bible says blindness in part is happening to Israel until the fullness of the Gentile be committed. So they were religiously blind, spiritually blind. And although Bartimaeus was, was physically blind, but he was spiritually able to see. So those people who see the miracles and experience it did not believe in Jesus. But when Bartimaeus heard it was Jesus, he cried out and look how he said, Jesus, what did he say?
Bless the Lord. So they tried to shut him up. The Bible said, but, but, he cried out the more a great deal. Can you hear the man come up his lungs? Because look man, me blind but me have voice. Me blind, me can't see but me can't hear. Me can't talk. So I do up one sense gone but me have four left. I never use the four to catch me out of this situation. Sometimes we believe his five is four gone and one we'll leave our five gone. The man said, no, 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 me only have one gone and four are left. And he used the, what is left. He cried a great deal. Listen, my brother. Okay. So, yes. All right. Yes. And, Jesus stood still. When you call his name, when you reference him, you get his attention. Because somebody called me, somebody knew me, somebody believed in me. Can you imagine a crowd going along and one blind man called him and Jesus stood still? Same great man in Carnival. 
That's what my, so Bobby said before they were worried about the cleaning. Hey, come on. You never hear that to you. Lord. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come in somewhere. And he cast off his garment and came. And Jesus answered and said unto you. What? I want you to look at this carefully. What will thou that I should do unto thee? What is it? And that is your topic today, you know? And that is your prayer today. Because the Lord is asking you the question. What is it you want? Your answer now to him is to tell him what is your request. There is always a time you know, when the Lord asks you, yes, Jesus, 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 and say yes. Can I help you? We want, um, let me see again, everybody a card, let me see a card or two. We just want to hear you. All right, hear <laughs> Yeah, huh? Yes. Now, I said here before that I've myself. The man I have now, I've been on my wife. Could I have had the same? But you know, I'm missing nothing of any wife. No children, no house, 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 I can't drive. Why is it now I get near the door of clothes? Things bad. And salt. <laughs> and Jesus of Nazareth, kind of mighty over top, asked you where you want. If it was ever me, he asked that. <laughs> Me not say you, me not say you, me not say you. But but if I shall be saying, I do say me. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, ask you, what is it that me you want to for you when you make a grocery list, care list, pick me list? Christmas I come, <laughs> what? A bus list, eh? a kind of list. But we must have one man saying, you ought to have nurse supplementary list. I want a private doctor and a private nurse. Yes. And then I write supplementary list or PS. <laughs> you know what PS? Yes, no. When you make the list done and done, I remember something else. Yes. And you had all this again. But I want us to look at the man. The man was blind. The man was uh, uh, was probably on everything that you can think of. He was short of it, but he had glass. Wow. E, e. Casting is coming. Jesus answered, what is it want? The blind man said unto you. Look at this, look at it. I want us to look at this. The blind man said unto him, he could have just said, more besides. He said, Lord, do you know what that Lord means? Rabboni. It goes beyond saying, Master. He not just said, he not just said, sir. He said, Lord, Jesus sir. Christ. Yes, sir. Dignity. Yes, sir. Order. He said, Lord, Jesus. I, I, I believe he, 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 he must have cursed when he said, Lord. Wow. See, people who can see, who are standing around with a mouth wide open. Lord, listen to me, hold on, man. No, go so fast. Is a come on as your Lord? Yes, yes sir. So that means, in the name of the Lord, I, he said, Lord, pause that I might receive my sight. 
Lord, she says, so down here, so proud. Mmm, the kind of not so. Huh? Watch, get to say, Lord, he called him Lord when he was seeking his attention. He got his attention. He's no ass. What is it that he wanted? He still said, Lord, Rabboni, Master, Teacher, God Almighty, that I might receive. I want you to write the word. I want you to read the Bible. might say different. Yes, that I might receive. It just struck me. If I am going to receive, it means that you are going to give. Yes, sir. Because you are able to give. Yes. And if you are not the God of heaven, you cannot give. Yes. Because uh, I am already an old man and all uh, this is the but, but you are able to give. Yes. You are able because in the beginning you created and you gave man sight. I lost mine, but you are able to give that I might receive. The Bible said to hear his voice. Hard not to hear. Hard not to hear. Oh God. Jesus answered him. Jesus served him. Jesus served him. Go there. Back. Watch your faith. When you, all that you have done, from your call out to me, from your heart with mercy, from your call me, Muram, Rabboni, from all of this is your faith, which was lacking in Israel. Thy faith hath made thee own. And the million, in not touch him, in not spitting on high, in not giving an injection, in not giving no eye drops, in not giving immediately. The man you see, the man have the faith in God that he can speak the word, and then he shall be done. And Jesus just said, Receive it, and immediately. The man realized he could see. We don't finish it. And after he received his sight, he said, Look here, me, you see, me, me, I find you in your room. So I am from Jericho, you are going to go to Jerusalem, but comes what? Me, I find you. Because I have received once I was blind, but no, I, I am going to find you. I will follow you by your bitch as many you will. You bear in me. You bear in knowing who I am. You bear to call out to me in a crowd. You bear to ask me publicly. You bear to believe you can receive it. You bear to trust me. You bear to know who I am. You bear. All of us are private faith, but you have to have some public faith. 
Because there are some things that God wants to do publicly, not only for you, but that His name be glorified. That others through you might see the Christ. Public faith, public faith, public faith. And He wasn't afraid to leave with bundle and leave everything and say, Lord, you're going to Jerusalem, make one with you. Make one with you. Make one with you. On the mountain top, far across the sea, you ever hear, hear thy voice, I'm going to pop you. Not till cross is come. Not till somebody will decide me. Not till I have a bad day. Not till uh, somebody has a uh, 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 anyway you're going. Okay, make one for you. Begin, daughter. Begin, daughter. Stand one side, daughter. I'm going to follow you. Yes. Can you? God has been good 